Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is our first full day here at Disneyland Paris. Um, the time is now 10.15 in the morning. We've had a really nice lie because everybody was exhausted. Um, the plan is we're ready and we're gonna head off to McDonald's in the Disney Village to get a little bit of a feed because Ben and I didn't have any dinner last night. We are starving. Yeah, so we're gonna head over and do that in a minute. And then the plan for the day is bimble around to Disneyland Paris Park, we might um, head over and see the Lion King show, which is at 1.15 or sort of nearly four o'clock. Uh, we're gonna try and catch the Stars on Parade show, which is at 5.30, um, just see what's going on. Ride the rides, get some snacks, do all the usual things that we do when we come to a theme park. We're gonna take you along with us and show you what Disneyland Paris has got to offer. Um, it is the first full day of the February half term, isn't it? If you allow for like travel days and everything. So the park might be fairly busy today. We'll have to see what it's like when we get in there. As you know, we're staying at Disney's Newport Bay Hotel. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna film how long it takes us to bimble down to the security entrance to get into like the Disney Village. Um, so you can see if this hotel is, you know, is, is what you're looking for in terms of um, accessing the park. Um, so we'll do that. Yeah? You ready? Six minutes. Six minutes. No, this is six minutes. Any advances on six minutes? Uh, seven and a half. Seven and a half, five, six, and I think eight. See you in a mo. Right, we're outside the hotel now. We're going to start the timer and then pick up. Ready? 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 Go! Go. Go. and 12 seconds so who said five minutes ben what did you say well, at first i said seven and a half you said seven i said eight so ben wins right you get through security which you all you've got to do is basically put your bag on a little conveyor belt and you just walk through um and then it takes about 30 seconds if that doesn't it to get to mcdonald's let's head on in and have a look at the menu shall we oh look Yay, French pastries and macaroni, pan of chocolat, cookies. Right, so we found the breakfast menu. So Ben's gonna have one of these. So if we choose bacon and beef muffin, validate order. Ah, so you'd have to add on extras. So it's three euros 50 for like a McMuffin on its own. And then, you added on um, a latte that's an extra if you had to regular size 290 so that would be six euros um, they don't seem to do like sides of hash brown things like that so no they don't do that we got Ellis pan of chocolat two bacon and beef McMuffins one
We're going to bimble into the park. We're in the Disney Village now. Um, as you can probably see behind me, there's um, a lot of construction walls. So it looks as though they are going to reimagine it all. And Ben said he thinks that they're going to sort of rebuild it on the basis of um, Disney Springs, didn't you? They want to sort of jazz it up a bit, which to be fair, Disneyland Paris could do with a good facelift. It's looking, as you look around, it's looking very dated, isn't it? It's tired, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second, but there's a lot of things around here that look in a bit rusty and old and weathered, aren't they? So it does need a bit of a refresh. So, um, we're going to head into the Disney store. Children want to have a look in the Disney store. <laughs> have a look what's on offer. Let's go. See, this is what I was showing you about um, it looking a little bit dated, really. So if you look up there, at the Disney store sign, I mean, that's probably been there since opening day in 1992, isn't it? So it's really looking a bit, a bit rough now. Let's head on into the Disney store, see what's on offer. It does look old. <laughs> oh, shoulder pals, they've got shoulder pals. They are really cute. 20 euros in here. There's plenty of stitch merchandise here. Oh dear. That's really cute. Teddies, teddies everywhere. Oh, a little stitch pack of Max, they're cute. Just need on Paris t shirts. 18, 18 euro in Marvel teddies. Oh, look at that group up there. It's, it's really cute. Teddies, teddies, teddies. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> Lots of nice Star Wars merchandise in here. Watch that one, that's cute. 20 euros, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at that jumper. That's lovely. Look at that, look at that. Hi guys, yep, so we're in the park now, as you can see, the castle's behind me, woohoo. I did say it yesterday in our vlog, but this is our favorite castle. This is based on uh, Stephen Beauty, isn't it? Stephen Beauty's castle. Yeah. Um, and underneath is Maleficent, so we're going to go and check that out in a minute. But first, we're going to head into Frontierland. We're going to have a go on um, Haunted Mansion, aren't we? Go and check out what's down there. Hopefully get a ride on Big Thunder Mountain, one more time that we like to call it. Uh, yeah, just have a general bimble around. We're just heading into Frontierland now. So Frontierland is like um, country and western, sort of wild west themed area. Um, this is home to uh, the runaway mine train. It's home to the, I think it's home to the Indiana Jones ride, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, they have the Phantom Manor here, which is their equivalent of a haunted mansion from the American park. They've also got down at the bottom is a theatre that hosts the Lion King uh, show, which is lovely. Um, there's plenty of really cool themed shops around here. Um, you've got a steamboat, so Molly Brown, We've just got to uh, Big Thunder Mountain and she's covered in construction. Oh, then we think that's probably the best ride here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, that's our favourite one. What a shame. Oh, well. But uh, well, you can't help it, can you? But We've had a good little bimble around um, Frontierland. It's quite busy down here to, at the moment. And uh, there's a lot of construction walls, as you can see behind me. Um, and there's a lot going on down here, which um, limits your movement quite a lot. but. Never mind. Um, we're in Adventureland now, so Adventureland is right next door to Frontierland. And I think that's why I got mistaken when I said that um, Indiana Jones was in Frontierland. It's here in Adventureland. Um, so we've just popped in quickly before the Lion King show starts. We've got about 30 minutes to wait for that. So we're going to go and get a sneaky ride on Pirates of the Caribbean. Whee. Come on then, let's go.
Pirates of the Caribbean. Woo. I got absolutely drenched. So there's three drops on that one. Um, and if you're in the front of the boat, like I was, be prepared to get wet and it comes at you from all angles. So yeah, I'm cold now. <laughs> uh, it was pretty good fun though. Yeah, it's all right. It's a bit shorter than the one in Florida, wasn't it? That's yeah. Cool. But it's, but it's going to be, isn't it? Because it's obviously a smaller park. So but we'll um, get on them. now we're going to head down to the theatre where the Lion King is, and hopefully we'll get to go in and watch the show, see what it's like in compared, in, well, in compared, in comparison to the one in Florida. So we'll let you know. show um, it was really wonderful so it's a theatrical performance um, you get to sit in a really nice big theatre um, and watch the the dancers and the performers on stage there's lots of acrobatics lots of singing it was really really lovely it was lovely and warm in there as well and it's freezing out <laughs> oh they're not listening to me um, yeah so it was really really wonderful and we've done that and now we're going to head over to Futureland or Discovery Land Tomorrowland whatever it's bloody called I don't know what it's called I'm um, going to head over there and ride some rides, so come and check it out. <gasps> Donald! Donny, Donny, my love. If there's no queue, please, can we go and see him? I'm starting to think there's some sort of Disney conspiracy going on here, you know. Every time I want to meet Donald or Alice, sorry, the line's closed. Sorry, not today. I'm like, oh. Oh, I never get to meet Donald. It's not fair. I just want to cuddle and ruffle his little white feathers. Hi, everyone. Um, we've just had a good old um, bimble around Fantasyland. We we're really lucky, actually, because we managed to get um, a ride on Pinocchio. We went on Peter Pan's flight. Um, beautiful, beautiful rides. Some proper old school traditional classics that, that we love. Um, so I think we're just going to carry on going around Fantasyland, have a little bit of a bimble round. I want to get um, a picture of the children with the sword and the stone. Um, go have a look in the castle. What did we go on again? We went on Pinocchio. Peter Pan's flight, Pinocchio. Snow White. Snow White. Oh, and Small World. We went on Small World as well. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a little bimble round, go in the castle and everything like that. Can you see Maleficent? Yes, let's go see Maleficent. Come on, let's go. Maleficent. Ooh. Where is she?
walking through the Disney Village now. We're heading down to um, Rosalie's, which is the new brasserie on the corner where Chef, Chef? <laughs> Chef Mickey's used to be. Hello, Chef Mickey's used to be. Um, we've looked at it from the outside. It looks absolutely beautiful in there. So we're going to head on in, have a couple of drinks and some din dins. Okay, we are seated in uh, Rosalie's beautiful brasserie, bar and cafe. Um, so I'll just give you a quick look at the menu. So they've got oysters. They've got plenty of seafood dishes. Seafood platters. Children's menu, which is uh, 16 euros and they get a starter, a main and a pudding. The brasserie menu, which is like a fixed menu. And then you've got a fixed lunch menu. Um, that's on the other side. I'll show you the other side. Um, so they've got starters there. Uh, specialty mains, which is meats, fish, some large plates here. Then you've got ice creams and sorbets and cheese and desserts at the bottom. So, let's have a good old scan and see what we're gonna order. Right, some of our foods here. I ordered the French onion soup. It's really big portion. Smells amazing. Parker went for mac and cheese with ham. Ellis has got chicken nuggets. And this is Ben's starter, which is avocado and prawns. With a sriracha sauce. Looks good. Right, the mains have arrived. So the one I originally wanted was um, they'd run out of it. So I ordered Toulouse sausage and mash instead. Ben ordered chicken supreme. It does look very nice. We'll let you know on the other side. Whew, we've just finished eating at Rosalie's. Oh my days. I feel like they're going to have to roll me out on a wheelbarrow. So I had a starter and a main. Um, I did get a pudding, but um, I gave it to Ben. There's no way I could have eaten that as well. So rich. The food is beautiful here. Um, what would you say in terms of price? It's quite expensive, but it's worth it. Mm. It's fairly um, expensive, but it's really, really nice. So, you, get, you know, it's one of those. You get, well, you get what you pay for. Um, the wine's lovely. The ambiance is lovely. The restaurant is decorated beautifully. The staff are amazing. I would definitely, definitely come here again. Um, this is by far the most superior restaurant that we've eaten in since we've been here. What did you say? Yeah. Um, the children cleared their plates. Ben and I cleared our plates. Um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning in here. So if you can get yourself a res reservation at Rosalie's if you're coming to Disneyland Paris, I would definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to head back into the park in a minute, I think, try and catch the fireworks. Um, if the rain backs off a little bit, because it's pouring down outside. So we'll see, but I'll let you know. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to do um, sign off for last night's video. I didn't do it yesterday because we got back to the room and I was absolutely exhausted. Um, my back was really hurting, so I just kind of went straight to bed in all honesty. We did have a lovely day yesterday. We didn't get much filming done. In fact, that's been a bit of a, um, a feature throughout this trip, really, hasn't it? We've not managed to film half as much content as we would want to because it's just been raining all the time. Uh, yeah, we don't want to ruin the new camera. And also, it just makes it very difficult because you're rushing from pillar to post to get out of the rain. Um, what was going to say? So yesterday, we, we did have a lovely day. It was dry for a little bit, didn't it? Held off for a little bit. And then it seemed to be as soon as we got the camera out, it started raining again. Um, nevertheless, we did have a nice, nice time. We went around into Disney Park again. And what did we do yesterday? I can't remember now. Did do the ride, the Pinocchio, and all that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ellis um, has decided that Peter Pan's flight is her favourite ride now. So we did that. And we watched the parade and the drone show. Yep, watched the parade. Um, <coughs> did the drone show and the fireworks. Um, what do you think about the drone show and the fireworks? So the drone show is really good. Yeah. Fireworks, there weren't many fireworks. No. Projection show, 
Yeah, but I'm not sure if that was because of the weather, so we, we're not entirely sure about that. But the drone show was absolutely c'est magnifique. It was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, really, really good. And we couldn't get in touch with it. Yeah, and um, you can see the drone show from, like, wherever you are within the vicinity. Yeah. It's really clever.